clean out the heating shoe. To do that, we need to take the cover or lower the cover, if not take it off. And underneath the right hand side cover is a bare wire, which is live. So first thing we're gonna do is tie the power cable to the machine so it can't be plugged in. We do need a torque fitting screwdriver. And what we do is we loosen or take out two screws underneath. This particular one is a 560. The principle on the 5H is exactly the same, just a bit longer. And we're going to take that screw straight out. So we take the covers off both sides. And the groove where the steam comes out of is here. And to get to it, we need to take out the bungs in each end. So you need a sharp screwdriver, or you can do this with a knife. And if you're careful, you can get the bung out from each end without destroying it. Then need a piece of wire. This is earth wire out of a twin and earth. And we need a piece at least as long as the shoe. And if you can see, there's an upper and lower section. So there's a, a plate in the middle, and you've got a lower section and an upper section. And all we're going to do is push the wire down, give it a rattle. If you can get it all the way through, that's good. On the bottom section, there is an inlet halfway along so you can see it can catch halfway along but generally you can again get that to go past and what we're doing is trying to rattle out any debris that might be in there when we've done that on both sides we're going to lower the table down so it's vertical and any debris that's in there will fall out, it will just slide through. In addition to that, we can vacuum each end and also vacuum the groove and that will draw out even more debris from the inside of the heating chute. 